the best way to learn Spanish is immersion, right? Wrong. Well, maybe not wrong. So I wanted to make a video about the absolute best ways to learn Spanish. Then I thought, why not learn from someone who has already seen success learning a second language as an adult? So I went to Google and found a great article by Nate Alger, one of the co-founders at Spanish Land School. I'll link the article in the description of this video as it was used as reference for the great content you're about to watch. Hola, soy Adriana, brand ambassador with Spanish 55. Si eres nuevo por aquí, bienvenido. This channel is dedicated to helping you reach Spanish fluency. If that interests you, consider subscribing. Without further ado, here are Nate's seven proven methods that he has used together with consistency for achieving Spanish fluency. Number one, use language exchanges to speak to native speakers. Language exchanges are an excellent way and a free way to learn Spanish. Nate recommends conversationexchange.com. You'll spend the first 30 minutes speaking in English and the next 30 minutes speaking in Spanish, he says. Number two, find an online tutor to speak with each week. Nate says that if you can only do one thing, then this would be the one. When you find a tutor, you're able to get proper feedback on your speaking skills, plus get corrections from someone whose job is to know and teach the language properly. In a classroom, the teacher has to go at a pace that works for everyone. But an online tutoring session is 100% focused on you. Nate blames online tutoring sessions for being able to be fluent in Spanish in less than a year's time. Number three, listen to Spanish podcasts. You can check out Coffee Break Spanish, which is focused on beginner to intermediate Spanish. And of course, there is Españolistos. Españolistos is Nate and Andrea's podcast aimed for intermediate and advanced Spanish in a Latin American dialect. The podcast is available on every major platform like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. You should check it out. Número 4. Begin writing in Spanish. One way to start thinking in Spanish is to start writing in the language. Number 5. Read books in Spanish. Nate picked out one of his favorite books in the Spanish translation. Since he had already read the book in English a couple of times, he knew the storyline and what was going on in each chapter. This made the reading more digestible for him. Number six, use a flashcard app, especially one with spaced recognition technology. Meaning that the flashcard app should let you choose when you want to see the card again. This is so when you have a grasp on a particular card, you can have that app not show it to you for a couple of weeks or even a month. Nate uses Anki app as he has found it to be the most effective. Número 7. Join an online Spanish membership or course to improve your grammar and pronunciation. When looking for a course or membership, Nate says, make sure you look for one that is fully structured and that you connect with in a meaningful way. It is so important to enjoy the process. A membership or course will help you have an organized study plan and keep you consistent in your studies. You can check out Parcero membership. Each month, Parcero has a specific grammatical theme. There is weekly study and reading material along with engaging videos and dialogues. Those are the seven best ways to learn Spanish, according to someone who's done them all. If you'd like to read the full article, you can find the link in the description of this video. Spanish Land School also has a YouTube channel for learning intermediate to advanced level Spanish. That link is also in the description. So which one of these seven will you put in your calendar first? Let me know in the comments below. Remember that if you are interested in hiring an online tutor, Spanish 55 gives you the first one-on-one -on -one lesson free of charge. Head over to Spanish55.com to take advantage. Es todo amigos, hasta la próxima. I'll see you in the next video.